Mr. Eji, you mentioned um, the term of the archive Superman in your keynote five minutes ago. Can you tell the audience on YouTube what you meant with this? Yes, I think that um, the skills that archivists and librarians have built up and developed over the centuries are becoming more and more relevant into the future. Um, we still need a lot of solutions to get to access to the material of the past, but I think these solutions also will scale and need to scale to start dealing with issues of the future. So I think the skills of the archivist and librarian will endure, even if some of the archives themselves um, uh, you know, are going to um, struggle to make their way to the future. Um, the BBC has also a new media archive, which is keeping record of the content that goes out on the BBC website. How does this work? Web, web archiving is a new science. Um, I've got to be honest, you know, there's a long way to go. I know that the British Library are doing significant work in thinking about how you uh, archive the web. The web has different issues. I mean, you have to consider the state of the technology and the machine that produces the page as well as the content the page produces. And I think the challenges are going to be more significant in the future because I think, as we've uh, heard people say, web uh, digital formats last forever or for five years, whichever comes first. In two or three sentences, um, we've spent at the BBC about uh, f six or seven years exploring what we think are the, the opportunities as well as the, uh, the, the challenges uh, facing the organization. Um, we know many of them are reasonably straightforward, but a different um, report has shown us that we have about 15 challenges that are so significant that they require collaboration across borders. Okay, and the final question, how will the archive in the year 2020 be like at the BBC? It will feel like the greatest um, time machine for the 20th century. <laughs>